Good morning, Australia. Hey, don't you think we should wish an aqua morning? Oh, you are right. So I'm Navdi from class 9th E. And I'm Devish from class 8th B. On behalf of DCMC group of schools, we are here on with the topic Indian fisheries and aquaculture. A future for everyone and a success story. Do you know? Indian fish and fish products have recently emerged with the largest group of agricultural exports with 10.7 lakh tons in terms of quantity and rupees 33,442 crores in value. Really? So this would mean that it accounts for 10% of total exports of the country and 20% of agricultural exports? Moreover, are Indian fisheries and aquaculture an important sector of food production which provides nutritional security to the food basket and it engages 14 million people in different activities? You're right. This sector contributes 5.15% of agricultural GDP, that is gross development project. So, could I say now that India's 8,118 kilometers of marine coastline 3,827 coastal villages and 1,914 traditional fish landing centers are of much use to Indian fishermen? For your knowledge, the marine fish harvested in India consists of about 65% of total marine fish. Pelagic and midwater marine fish consist of 52%. Do you think that high productivity, transfer of knowledge for sustainable fishing, and increase in exports have a potential for raising living standards of Indian fishermen. Moreover, I think it has created export-driven employment opportunities in India and greater food security. Yes, Indian fisheries have witnessed improvements in crafts, tackle and fishing methods. Of course, Indian fisheries have gained a reputation for cleanliness and quality. Moreover, it has emerged as the second largest in the world in production of fish. Thank you and have a nice day. Yeah. Thank you once again from our team DCMC, from DCM Group of Schools, Firozpur, Punjab, India. Jai, Jai Hind! Hind.